What's up everyone, welcome back to a new video. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to mix and record your vocals. The first thing we have to do is listen to the end product, see how it sounds. That's stupid! I don't worry about your call. I left you in the dark. You just want attention. So this is basically how it's gonna sound. Hopefully you like it. If you don't like it, we're gonna start off with removing all the effects and showing you how it sounds without all the crazy things on it. I don't worry about your call. I left you in the dark. You just want attention. The money on my car. Whoa, -ho. but I cannot do that. No, 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 not today. So yeah, that's how it sounds without effects except auto tune. Uh, so now I will show you what effects I put on. So we're gonna start off with the simple one, auto tune. I put retune speed at five, humanize zero. Get the right key. You need the right key. If you don't do that, it's gonna sound like sh and I'm not trying to be rude, but it's just gonna sound. Sh then we got an EQ. We remove some lows, some bad frequencies, and boost the highs around seven. Then we have another EQ. We removed more lows. Then we did uh, some more removing of frequencies and then boosted the highs around seven uh with the compressor this the compressor you can just copy the settings just to make it clear i'm not a professional mixer so everything i'm telling you is how i do it not how like a professional mixer does it but it sounds good so like i mean I'm, you know but yeah, after that we have a c6 stereo that's a multiband compressor i think you can just copy the settings again let's pause the video then we have another eq we have so many eqs bro so many so yeah you can just pause it and just check it like that we have a sound goodizer what this does is like boost some of the high frequencies i think makes it like crunchy so just put it one quarter on c the c preset some reverb i like valhalla reverb please sponsor me bro uh mix on 10 decay you can do whatever but just just choose what sounds good so what i also use on the main vocals is the de -esser. so you can just choose whatever sounds good and two more eqs that remove more bad frequencies and those are basically the main vocals already so now it sounds like this i don't worry about your calls i left you in the dark you just want attention money on my car I mean, it sounds good. It sounds good. It sounds good. So now we're going to move on to the ad libs. So what I normally do for the ad libs is I'm just basically my own hype man or however you want to call it. You're just going to rap along, sing along and just do some crazy words and all that. crazy so those are the ad libs uh what i did for that is basically the same thing but i just put more reverb on it and a stereo imager so you can also use stereo shaper that's stock with fl uh and then some eqs i don't think i changed yeah i changed this i don't know what this is but and i basically did that for all the ad libs and on the last ad lib i added a panomatic uh i don't know what it's called basically but it just makes your focus go from left to right which is pretty cool so yeah just copy these settings and then the ad lib should sound like this you know it sounds pretty cool sounds pretty cool so now i'm gonna show you how you can record your vocals in fl studio very simple i used to use audacity audacity is that how you say it? audacity but since like a year i record in fl studio so uh, i will show you how to do that so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to an empty channel and you're gonna go to the top right and click on either one or two just click it and it will show your vocals if it doesn't work just go to youtube and search your problem you will get the answer so what you're gonna do is you're gonna route it so you're gonna remove it from the master it's norm normally on the master. And you're gonna put it on the second mixer track, basically. So what you're then gonna do is you're gonna go in here, like, like you can, can hear it now, like you but you're just gonna go here and then record crazy ass hooks, bro. It didn't record, but crazy, crazy, crazy. Crazy, crazy. If you wanna get low latency on uh, FL Studio, I suggest going to options 
and check your buffer length if it's somewhere around 2000 it's gonna be like a long delay and the delay is gonna be less if you put it less buffer length but if you have an audio interface you can't go lower than this number so yeah if you really have delay i suggest getting an audio interface and an xlr mic it would just change your whole world so this is how i mix and record a song let me know what type of videos you guys want to see on the channel so uh, yeah i appreciate you all for watching follow me on instagram and instagram is here and right here and uh yeah i'll see you guys later peace